Well, lead poisoning is becoming less of a problem in the area and the state, but it's still a problem, impacting more than 1,300 Wisconsin children last year. And now a group is trying to raise awareness about the illness. Fox 11's Laura Smith has more on prevention efforts in Brown County. The everyday practice of opening and closing your windows can be harmful to a child's health. This is the key area where little ones may be exposed to lead paint. Well, some of the paint gets uh, the checking and the peeling and the little flakes on the bottom, and that's where the children can touch and get that hand-to-mouth activity. So that's where we usually take your paint chip samples. According to the Centers for Disease Control, children in Brown County affected by lead poisoning numbered in the dozens from 2005 to 2008. However, cases are on the decline. We've had 10 from the prior year, and then this year we've had uh, 11 cases already. The Brown County Lead Coalition says childhood lead poisoning remains a problem due to the thousands of homes in the area built before 1978. Ideally, everyone should have zero lead in their body, so there's no safe level. Dr. Joe Kellner routinely tests children for lead. He says childhood lead poisoning is a bigger problem in larger cities. If a child is poisoned by lead, Kellner says it can be especially damaging to the brain. Levels below 10, which is the cutoff these days, cause a significant amount of problems with the enzymes that cause your brain to become more efficient, leading to cognitive delays and ADHD. Coalition officials say renovating your home to get rid of lead paint can cost thousands of dollars, but Wisconsin has a program to help property owners by offering them loans to fix these hazards in older homes. The city of Green Bay has a similar rehabilitation program. When the Brown County Health calls and says we have a lead poisoned child uh, at the specific address, if it's an owner-occupied home, we can address that um, if they meet our requirements for the loan program. By raising awareness and getting lead out of homes, the coalition is hopeful childhood lead poisoning will eventually disappear. In Green Bay, Laura Smith, Fox 11 News. And there are kits you can buy to check for lead in your home. You can pick those up at hardware or home improvement stores.